the courses that are being offered at skilllink and the challenges which they create they are there to develop us for the industry level my name is apak wajid i was born and brought up in kolkata i joined skilllink to enhance myself to upskill my journey the pg program uh, offered by skilllink in electrical vehicle design and development which i was undergoing it helped me come across various new tools of electrical engineering domain especially designed for ev i came across several courses such as model based development courses automotive embedded system to be specific using these uh, courses not only did i uh, get uh, like upskill myself and get a job i was also offered a uh, full time full scholarship phd at uh, kyungkook national university south korea just because of this one course which is on adas I completed my B.Tech in Electrical Engineering from Macau in Kolkata, and then went on to pursue my P.G. program, M.Tech in Electrical Engineering from the University of Calcutta. Later on, I joined Skilllink to enhance myself to upskill my journey, and I joined the P.G. program in E.V. Design and Development. Currently, I'm working at Tata Technologies Limited in the Engineering Research and Design team as a postgraduate trainee. E.V. has always been my fascination since my B.Tech days. So after completing my M.Tech, I wanted to join the EV field. I was looking out for courses, industry level courses, out in the market. Uh, I tried searching on Google as well as uh, went for reviews on YouTube. It is then I found Skilllink and its syllabus uh, to be matching with my requirements, and thereafter I joined Skilllink. Coming from an electrical engineering background, uh, I wanted to focus more on my field itself. So here at Skilllink, uh, we were being offered two courses. The one was a PG program in hybrid electric vehicle design, which was more of a mechanical sort of thing. Whereas uh, there was another course on PG program in electrical vehicle design and development, which focused more on controller design, power electronics, uh, VLDC motor design, etc. And that is why uh, I selected this particular course, since it reflects what all have studied. uh like in my uh, graduation and post graduation days and i will be easily able to correlate and pick up all the stuff and upskill myself so the pg program uh, offered by skilllink in electrical vehicle design and development which i was undergoing it helped me come across various uh, new tools of electrical engineering domain especially designed for ev uh, one of them was advisor tool using which uh, i even published research papers then i came across several courses such as model based development courses embedded system automotive embedded system to be specific then autosar briefings it was an introductory course but again that also helped me gain a knowledge of what the automotive uh, architecture is all about so using these uh, courses not only did i uh, get uh, like upskill myself and get a job I was also offered a uh, full time full scholarship PhD at uh, Kyungkook National University South Korea just because of this one course which is on ADAS because uh, there was a smart uh, vehicle project there based on human machine interfacing and uh, due to few projects over here such as the ADAS traffic jam assistant feature there was a adaptive cruise control feature there was a highway lane changing assistant these few projects which I had done due to these projects i was being preferred by the university mentors to join them on their project the technical support engineers here at skilllink uh, they are really supporting they are always uh, ready to help us in any situation uh, all were very very supportive but to name a few uh, vinay in the very beginning he had exceptional knowledge on simulink and helped me out of the way to develop the projects which were allotted to me back then and again daniel who helped me in the adas projects which actually uh, were a uh, like addition to uh, my knowledge because adas was a new thing to me and also the development of adas features they were very new so he took that extra level extra step to teach us the minute details to teach me the minute details of it so as to gain a proper understanding of the entire system entire thing what is happening inside 
so they these were few mentors who went out of the way apart from that the entire technical support team at skillink is highly skilled and they always try to make sure that the student whosoever has opted for a support they understand everything in minute detail the career team again is exceptionally good mr vijay sarthi was my career mentor and he was very much supportive every time he used to be in touch with me whenever i needed his guidance as well as support he went out of the way to help me out at times i had missed some of the uh, placement interviews but then he made sure that he after within a given time frame within a short period of time he rearranged those interviews for me so that i do not miss out on a particular opportunity for current students all i'd like to say is focus more on the material study material which is being shared with you all and give more time to your assignments as well as projects contact your technical support engineers and get through every minute detail to gain a proper understanding the courses that are being offered at skillink and the challenges which they create they are there to develop us for the industry level so we must make sure that we make the most of it i would definitely recommend skillink to my friends because as i mentioned before with skillink projects only i had backed the a phd opportunity from abroad as well as this particular opportunity from tata technologies where i am currently working it was skillink only through which i made it to tata technologies limited so i definitely recommend not only my friends but all those who are watching me to join skillink and upskill themselves get ready for the industry as i mentioned in the entire interview the technical support team the career success team the courses that are offered by skillink they are all exceptionally good at par with the industry level but i would like to rate it on a scale of 4.5 because i would recommend skillink to bring in industry mentors which are more practical weekly sessions or maybe monthly sessions with industrial experts who can give the students a deeper insight into what can happen once they join in a particular field